Rebecca Eller, you were the first one to share with me a couple weeks ago, this idea that you don't like doing goal planning at the beginning of the calendar year that you kind of follow a different calendar. And I have been reading so much more about that ever since hearing you share about it first. And I would love for you to share a little bit more about like, what is, when do you do goal planning and why do you do it on a different calendar? Cause I feel like that, um, people are really wanting to hear more of that, like more of that permission to do things differently, to do it on their own terms. It, it sort of depends for me on what type of goal it is. This year, I have tried to combine my professional and personal goals all into one big goal, tracking, keeping up with sort of system, I guess, might be too formal of a word for what I've got going on over here. But I, because I work in academia, my life sort of rolls on an academic year or like a fiscal year. And new year for me very much feels like July. I also have very severe seasonal affective disorder and I live in Chicago. So I can't be trusted to think clearly about what is the best in things in life in December and January. And I know that about myself. So I do not even try to muddy my brain's waters with goal setting at that time. But one thing that has worked really well for me is that I, I typically start personal goals at the time that I feel like they're needed. I don't confine them to any particular schedule because I know from, we have lots of research on this in education. If you make somebody wait too long to access the thing they've built up the courage to do, often they don't start. Mm -hmm. So I let myself start when I need to. If I decided to exercise in October and waited till January, nothing would happen. I love that. I mean, I think that's one of the reasons New Year's resolutions is such a setup for a face plant for so many people is because we put so much pressure on ourselves when we wait till that start of the year. And and I I totally resonate with that. Whenever I commit to a new habit, I always do it in the moment. There's seemingly no rhyme or reason to it. And sometimes I get really annoyed because oftentimes my habits are like in service of something, whether it's a holiday or an anniversary. And then I you know, start and complete out of alignment with that date. So then I don't even get to celebrate the completion in alignment with whatever reason I started it for. <laughs> <laughs> I like the September cycle of starting goals. Like the, you said academic year before Rebecca, and to me, the new year starts in September for goals. And it's like the freshness, like I loved school supplies when I was a kid, like getting a new planner or school supplies was like my favorite thing in the whole year. So do you feel like there's a newness that still for me comes along in September that in January doesn't feel like there's this collective sort of um, energy around it, but it feels like there's a forcing to it that just feels really unnatural, especially in this, like I live in New England and it doesn't feel like that a time of creation and generation. It feels like a time of resting and <laughs> taking care of yourself and going slower and all that. And nothing about January feels fresh to me. 